guys, Jared Lloyd from the Journal of Wildlife Photography here. So I am in a hotel in Anchorage, Alaska. I just flew in late last night and tomorrow morning I'm going to fly out again, but this time in a smaller bush plane and out to a lodge to photograph bears for a week. Now I'm going to be up here in Alaska for a couple of weeks doing a lot of different work. And so what that means is I didn't come in with a small amount of gear. And one of the big questions that I get on a regular basis from people uh, that subscribe to the journal is exactly how how do I fly with all of this equipment? Well, a couple years ago, I wrote an article for the journal called How to Pack Like the BBC. So I've done quite a bit of work with the BBC and National Geographic and different film crews and stuff like that. And these guys fly in from all over the world with sometimes upwards of a million dollars worth of equipment. And so obviously they're not packing a million dollars worth of camera equipment on their backs and bringing it on board planes. These things are going down into the belly of the plane. And so basically the way I travel is the same way that these other working professionals that travel for a living do it as well. And that's by ultimately putting stuff inside of Pelican cases or some sort of hard case essentially. So like I said, I got in here late last night. Um, I haven't unpacked. I haven't broken anything down yet to sort through my gear and stuff like that. And, uh, and normally I think that if I was going to do a video like this, talk about exactly how I go about packing, I would probably pack the stuff on video. But instead, we're going to do it in reverse. This is actually going to be an unpacking, so at least you get the chance to see exactly the whole process here. I think that this will work just fine, and you guys will still get the same idea. All right, so as you can see here, it is a beautifully uh, rainy, drizzly, gray, overcast day in coastal Alaska. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this Pelican case right here. As you can see, looking close, there's zip ties right here. So these Pelican cases actually have these little, uh, these little spots right here where you can attach locks. Now I don't use TSA locks because TSA locks get broken off and it's actually quite easy for someone to snap one of those things off of here, open up the case and kind of dig through the stuff. Whereas the zip ties on the other hand, they don't break and they're actually a pain in the butt to get off. So I actually have to travel with a knife just so I can take these things off. So that's actually the first step, if you will, in terms of kind of getting into this thing here is I've got to remove these things. All right, so handy knife here. We go ahead and we just start cutting into these guys. All right, so as you can see, I use two zip ties on each one of these things right here. Um, that just creates a little bit of extra protection in terms of keeping this case secure. Once those are off, then we just pop this guy open. We've got multiple clips all the way around here like this, and we open it up. And lo and behold, this is what we've got. Now, as you can see, TSA didn't even open up my bag. Um, so apparently it went through the scanner. They were able to see that everything was uh, just fine. Quite often what I'll find is on top of this note that I leave right here, there will actually be like one of those little slips that says that this was checked by TSA. But as you can see here, there's not. But what I do have on top of my bag is a letter that I actually write to TSA. And so in this bag particular, it says, Dear TSA, the contents of this bag is all camera equipment, two cameras, and two large telephoto lenses. Please use the provided zip ties to re-secure this case. Thanks. And then you can see I actually have some zip ties that I have just taped to the side here. Now I taped four on there again because I like to use two on each one of those front locking mechanisms or those front loops on this case. This has worked every single time. When TSA opens up my bag, what I find is that they do in fact remove these zip ties and they do re-secure everything for me. So this is a really, really, really important part of the process for me. Now, you'll also notice that I've got my F-stop bag here, and then I've just got a bunch of random stuff kind of packed around it, basically. That's to provide uh, cushion for my camera equipment. And this is another important part of the concept here for me, because um, as you can see, instead of putting my gear out inside of like, you know, the kind of pick and pluck foam that these sort of cases tend to come with, instead what I do is I actually just drop my camera bag right down inside of there. And so, when I leave out of here on bush planes tomorrow morning, 
I am not going to bring this big heavy case. I mean, this case alone weighs like 25 pounds. I'm just gonna bring this. And instead I'm gonna leave this here at the hotel and just kind of check it with them and I'll pick it up when I come back through. That saves weight while I'm in the field. And so the main thing is I'm just trying to get my bag full of equipment here into Alaska. That's the whole idea behind this. So I've pulled out all of the foam. I've pulled out all of the padding and stuff like that that normally comes with these cases. I just set my bag right down inside of there and you can see I've got like some flannels I've got you know kind of my uh my rain jacket for my 600 millimeter lens you know stuff like that that's padded in here basically to help secure that and just kind of cushion it I do leave this nice cushion piece in the top right here for obvious reasons just in case other things do get kind of packed on top of this but it's amazing what these cases will secure and how well your equipment is protected inside of these things. Uh, Pelican Case has produced a number of different videos where they've thrown, you know, extremely fragile pieces of glass and stuff like that off the tops of buildings inside of these Pelican Cases, and then they go down and they open them up and everything's fine. They run over them with trucks, they open them up and everything's fine. So there you go, guys. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. Pelican Case with all the foam and stuff like that pulled out my camera bag set down inside I stuff around the edges with clothing and things like that that does actually help lighten the load of my other bag to some degree and uh, then I make sure I put that little letter on top of the bag that way when security or TSA opens that up they see exactly what's inside and there are four more zip ties that are taped to that piece of paper for them to use. And again, I have logged probably, oh gosh, I have no idea how many hundreds of thousands of air miles I have logged over the last 10 years doing this right here. I used to be like you. I used to try and stick my gear into a backpack and bring it on board as my carry-on and all that sort of stuff. And man, it is a pain in the butt, especially when you're traveling with a 600 millimeter lens and a 200 to 400. I mean, that's something like 30 pounds worth of gear right there between those two lenses and cameras and some of the other accessories that go inside of these bags and stuff like that. So when I stopped worrying about putting stuff on the plane with me as a check-in, suddenly that opened up the whole world for me to be able to travel with all kinds of other stuff. So now I travel with drones. I travel with multiple cases with different things. Sometimes I'm in places where I need all kinds of lighting equipment and flash stands and soft boxes and stuff like that. So when I go on a trip to Panama, for instance, and I might be down there for a month at a time, yeah, I'll have four or five, six of these Pelican cases like this filled up that I come rolling into this country with never once has it been a problem. So guys, I highly recommend you looking into this. I do recognize that it will probably cause a few heart palpitations for some of you folks out there. And so maybe you need to, you know, kind of pop a couple uh, aspirin before trying it, but it is the industry standard in terms of how professionals fly with our gear around the world.